Well, hello everyone. This is Jake here with you. Back of a, another edition of Demco Model Works Part 6. Uh, getting very close to the finale. And uh, just going to take you through and show you that I've started putting on um, the decals for the for the uh, the pennant marking and the registration number. Uh, I did have a um, masking set from uh, 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 Cameron Lewis, but uh, I messed up the I messed up the uh, pennant marking on the side. And what I mean by that is when I sprayed my yellow, uh, you know, I sprayed the red first and then sprayed the yellow. And when I peeled the masking off, the uh, masking peeled off the yellow, and I just didn't have another. I didn't have another set, so uh, I went on ahead and used the kit decals. And I'm really upset about that because I really liked those um, those uh, um, maskings from him. They, they worked really well. And uh, so the next uh, the next 350 kit I'll do, I'm going to order another set from him. But uh, I have all the major components on now. I have my have my um, um, intake manifolds on the top, and have my domes put on on the back, and um, you know I have my my side my side of my saucer sealed. And one problem I had though is when I was putting on the clear coat, uh, the clear coat started running down the side of the the ship, and. Uh, which kind of upset me and so what I'm gonna have to do now is go back through and do some sanding I already used the 220 uh, on there and I'm gonna go back through and use some uh, 1200 and uh, sand that down and repaint it and uh, once I get through I'm gonna have to go back through and re-scrape all the windows like I did um, on these when I repainted uh, on that so but that won't be too hard and then I'm gonna start doing my decals you know I later starting got those on and flip this around and I now have the decals on the um, uh, the pennant on that side and then uh, down the nacelles so I've got a few more uh, at, you know decals to put on the little I, I guess the the little number of markers that go along the side here, uh, the stri the pin stripe that goes down the back of the the dorsal area, and then the ones that go up underneath the the nacelles, and then I have to put those uh, three little pads that go up underneath there. But and then uh, pretty much everything will be uh, pretty much everything will be done. Oh, and then I got to put the ones on the bottom uh, side of the of the uh, body, but. Uh, she's turning out real good, folks. I got, like I said, I have all the major components on. Let me turn the the back uh, the the camera on. That you can see the the impulse engines are are uh, pulsating the way they're supposed to. This board is really really well, um, you know, down inside there again. Um, so you have to do a little bit of light blocking on that, but that won't take much. Uh, and then just a few little touch-ups around the the edges here and I'll, I'll do that with my airbrush so but uh, anyway um, that's the part you know that's pretty much it going on this one the next time you see this it'll be um, part seven which will be the finale and uh, I'll take you through all that all the steps and everything you know of what was done and all that so but uh, let me get something else out real quick uh, I finally got in my uh, board for uh, my client Hanks Enterprise E, so I'm going to be continuing working on that tomorrow. Uh, it's just too hot out here today to, to um, continue working. I might come back out here and work tonight a little bit more on it. But um, uh, oh yeah, on the bridge, I'm probably going to um, order. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this uh, the bridge. Uh, I did not um, glue this piece down uh, simply for the fact that the board's right down in here. So, and it's a pretty tight fit uh, to come, you know, come off. And so, if I decide to, if I decide to, um, you know, light this and paint and put it down in there, I can easily just pop this off and uh, get a replacement 
um, replacement dome for that and uh, you know then set that down in there and then go from there but um, if you're gonna mount the board inside the saucer I highly recommend not to not to um, uh, glue this on because of the fact that number one it's a tight fit so it will not uh, it will not go anywhere uh, unless you're rough with it the other place that I recommend you mounting it is right in here behind this uh, the, the deflector housing uh, there's a whole big big mess of room in here to where you can put the board in there and uh, uh, you know do it that way all you have to do is just use some canopy glue and uh, when if you need to you know work on it just get grab right here on the side and, and it'll pop out and you can get your board and everything out and just run your wires down but that's what I I ran my board up here uh, simply for the fact that most of the functions for this ship are up here in the saucer so um, that's why and it's mounted right here and if you're using the round two uh, lighting kit, there's, if you notice, there's a round peg right here where on the top, all you gotta do is put a screw in and, and screw the board down and it ain't gonna go nowhere. So if you pull this off, the board's gonna be right there. And uh, it's gonna, you know, be easy access to work on. And the same thing here, um, I did not glue these domes in simply for the fact that if I have to work on the board, all I have to do is um, uh, just pull these out and I can pull the board loose and and I left enough wire uh, wire slack in there to where I can pull it out and replace it if I have to so but uh, pretty pretty simply done so but anyway uh, that's it for this video guys take care and we'll see you around the next video we'll see you for part seven on the finale take care